so this is my hey you guys so this is my boob now <sighs> so i haven't been very active on this account because i've been on my other account so i will post that below in my caption but yeah basically my breast implant popped again and i am having surgery to take them out next week i am gonna go back natural not just my boob but other parts of my body shalom shalom call the law yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem kakwadash that's giving all praise to the most high name is only begotten son in the holy spirit my name is ibar from the prophets in babylon camp down here in tampa florida I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us truth, who, us like you, well, who taught us his truth and, tr and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter five, verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay, and these women, okay, they live in, in this pleasure. Okay, all this, you know, self gratification and, you know, um. They they love the attention from these you know men, with with no understanding, and they cause them to go to to go through, through these anesthesias or whatever and get these you know surgeries done on their body you know cut cut be be, be cutting on their bodies, but this woman she said she had a breast plant she had she had these you know ridiculous breast implants, she said one of her um breasts burst okay it um it burst for the second time. Okay, and, and now she's reg re re regretting putting all this in, in, in her body in the first place. And I'm going to say this too, man. When all hell break loose and, and the society collapse, people like this are not going to last very long, man. You know, you're going to be, you know, put on a circus show and somebody going to make some money all, <laughs> all for you, man. You know, this is just ridiculous. But this is why a lot of people, you know, that are in the, 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 the mindset uh, state of this world are not going to make it because you, you, hey, your mind ain't right. Okay. And especially a lot of you women. Okay. That's doing this to, to, to your body. Even if it is not this extreme, you're doing this to your body. Hey man, you're going to end up being, you know, in a, in, in, in a bad pr pr predicament in the near future, man. Okay. <laughs> when all, when, when, when in, in the time of total chaos and lawlessness, Okay, a lot of you women are going to be a target, and you make yourself and you make yourselves a target. First Timothy chapter five verse six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay, so she, you know, she already, you know, on her way out, man. You know, and I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read some of these comments, um, because it, you know, it, it, this this don't this don't make no sense. This is the book of Job, uh, thirty nine verse seventeen. Because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So the woman, you know, this is why a woman is supposed to have a husband, okay? <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, 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 she's supposed to have had a, fa of a father in her life. And he was supposed to give her to a husband of understanding, a man of understanding. And then, um, you know, a, a, a woman's whole goal in life is to please her, her husband, okay? Her her life is to her man, okay? Because when she gets her, when, when her, her life is of her own, this is the type of dumb shit she's going to be doing, man. Okay? Because the most I have deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So she got up these breast plants. One of them popped. You can't even sleep like this. One of them popped. And she went and got another one. <laughs> so let, let, let's go down. Oh, yeah. Not to mention she's calling herself Mary Magdalene. <laughs> 1-800 leave Mary alone. These people got to be destroyed, man. Okay, let's go here. Um somebody said going under general this is Miss Bling Miami. So she 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 she, she must got one. We're not going to go to her page. But it says going under general an anesthesia too many times may have lingering side effects on the brain even years after an operation. It's a blessing to wake up after any surgery. You see? And this woman, she obviously is not right in the brain, man. It's definitely has some, 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 some effects on the brain. But she, but, but she, but, but she didn't consider that. It says, take all that ish out. Just flex what God naturally gave you. It's more than enough. And if people have nothing, anything to say about it, screw them. 
And that's what, looks, you know, really, you know, you want me, you're supposed to be to it. I mean, you put on your body off and stuff. But the whole point is you shouldn't be doing this, you know, stuff to your body, man. You know, you're supposed to naturally, you know, you know, be natural, man. Also, you're not supposed to make any cuts into your flesh to all these surgeries. Let's go into that. Okay. I ain't going to make this long. This is, going to, this is just a little quick one, man. I was actually going to come on here and do a different video on one of the videos that one of the brothers did, man. The brother, Daniel, have been, you know, doing some, you know, um, making, make, 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 making some of your pot edits. So I'm going to touch on some of those real quick in the spirit. I just stumbled over this. This is, um, This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Now, I'm not sure this woman is even an Israel or not, but she's definitely making a mockery. But she has not only made cuttings into her flesh, but she has, you know, um, pr made printings upon her body. See all the tattoos, you know. And this is why a lot of these people are going to have to die, man. A lot of people, want, a lot of people want, are not going to make it. They're not going to make it, man. And rightfully so. This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Which we are in the last days right now, man. Okay, and it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. It says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. And that's what you see among these men and these women. They are lovers of their own selves. They, they, you know, they, 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 you know, they just proud as hell. It's just all about them. It says covetous. They want everything. You know, they, they, they can never have enough. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, and it goes on and on. But that, but that, but that, but that, that but that's just the ones that that, that that fit this video for right now. You know, I'm going to close out. Praise, lessons, edifying, and hopeful. Lecture one, Kwame Shirala, Baba Paul.